Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're at the trading post because I would like to sell some of the treasure of course, so here we are. Why well, I'm going to sell the treasure is because I'm going to be going for that heart piece over at the snow realm. Well, heart container, so... <laughs> So let's go ahead and sell some of those since I've got so many of them. Four should do it. Yeah, yeah. Because I just wanted 2,000 there, but you know, I got plenty more than that. I've also, um, oh, yeah, you can take Dark Ore to him to get some more stuff out of that. But I'd also like to go and trade my purple potion for another yellow potion. So I'll be doing that over at the shop over at the old Snow Realm as well. So. Let's go! But first, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and look for Ferris on my way there, because he's fairly nearby. Oh, do you hear that? Do you hear that? Yep, as I said, Ferris is fairly nearby to the Snow Realm, so there he is. By the way, watch us. You can make him jump by shooting around him. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what he's got to say for say this time. That should be close enough, I think. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. <laughs> Alright, he's like, I guess this means you got my letter. Surprised you found the place though. Anyway, here, I want you to have this. Ooh, palace dish, oh yeah, oh yeah. Isn't this treasure the most brain explodingly awesome thing you've ever seen? I got it when you took me to the ocean temple. Wait. I cleared that place out top to bottom. Where did you find this? I think it's pretty valuable. But man, arrows are flying at me and huge boulders are rolling at me. <laughs> Shoot, I put my life on the line to get this. Would it kill you to show a little appreciation? Um, the, this dialogue's pretty funny here, but I actually do want to show some appreciation. So you know what I'm, I'm going to do here? I'm going to go ahead and save state there, and I'm going to say, eh, whatever. Uh, okay, I guess you can be like that if you want. Well, I hope you know that a real engineer should always be gracious. You're going to get into a huge accident someday with a cruddy attitude like that. Well, good luck with the engineer thing. And we're gone. Load state. Oops, no, 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 we're not, we're, not, we're, we're safe this time. <laughs> Thank you! Aw, coming from you, that means a lot. Well, good luck with the engineer thing. Yeah, the dialogue's a lot less if you just thank them outright. Alright, I'm gonna go to over to Anuki Village and see what the head honcho has to say about the, uh, I guess you could say, new visitor to his home. <laughs> hey, uh, you finished with that fence yet? No? Uh, that's what I figured. <laughs> Alright, head honcho, you're back in front of your house now, I know, so what do you have to say? This is crazy, what in the world's been going on while well, I've been on watch? Some big orange monster decided to have camp in my place. I can't exactly go home now, where am I supposed to sleep? Tell me, where? <laughs> what do you have to say about your home invasion? People in co Oh, this is the same dialogue from before, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's some weird flickery table shadowy effect going on there, but that's an emulator thing, I think. Um, and same dialogue as before, okay. So let's go ahead and now go over to the snow sanctuary, where I can spend those rupees. I've gotta say, those tanks, they are nowhere near as threatening as the snowmen. <laughs> Of all the enemies in the entire game that appear at the overworld area, the snowmen are by far the most threatening. <laughs> so, snow Sanctuary. Well, I mean, I guess the demon trains are in their own way if they trap you or something like that, but still. But still, you know, you can avoid them with smart planning. Anyway. Hey guys, here's the Anuki General Store. Got everything you need. Check it out. I want this. I want this. I really want this. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby! You're welcome! And that's all I'm buying from you for the rest of eternity. Next up is a place that sells yellow potions, so I went over to Goron Village. I'm gonna get rid of my purple. Yeah, you can just drink the purple as a regular potion, but you know, you always want to save it for uh, the death that befalls you because, well, it just 
tech it generally uh, you know heals more hearts that way in theory because you know if you go past the mark of doom you know that then it recovers past that doom at plus six of the hearts and whatnot but anyway i'm gonna get yellow potions here because well we're gonna be doing something very very difficult and time consuming and this over here well we won't even need to get it here let's just put it that way <laughs> Boy, that's one solid transitional opening there. Castle Town. Oh, I think you know what we're here for, for back over here. Because other than one thing, this place is cleared out. And that thing is right over here. At Imitation Jolene's. The last door is open. Hey, you're looking real tough these days, boy. You look like you're not scared of anything. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I like to hear. I'll open the door to level 3 for you, but I'll be honest with you, the last stages were child's play compared to this one. Even I couldn't make it to the end, oh boy. But I think you forgot what it takes to do it. Are you ready to take them on, boy? Yes, I am. Good answer. Which level do you want to try? Number 3. Playing once cause, of course. Alright, so you want the final door, level 3. It's going to be tough, but I don't want to hear any whining from you. Oh boy, it's red, and we're dead. <laughs> now we're, we're pretty well prepared. If you want to be even more prepared, you could get that other heart container from Beetle by buying a bunch more stuff from him. But I think our two potions and uh, um, 15 heart containers will be good enough for me. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. I could just probably take care of you guys. Yeah, what the... A bow and arrow for the most part should be simple enough to do that, I think. Yeah, that should do. So, as for the rest, let's kill them this way. I'm using your own body parts against you. Actually, no, it's helmeted. Otherwise, that would be pretty painful. It's, yeah, that, that, that would be pretty awful. <laughs> Alright. Taken care of, and yeah, we'll get more arrows and stuff like that along the way, but we will not get more hearts along the way. That's why I got the golden potions. Ooh, the hurricane spin is immensely useful around these parts, too. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever there's a lot of little critters that you can wipe out with. Dang it! <laughs> that you can wipe out with the hurricane spin, just go for it! And, uh, yeah, I know I lost my sword beam already, but dang it! Okay, just, just... Wow, you actually hit me while I was in that? Man, man, you guys are resilient! <laughs> Maybe I should be whipping them instead. That might be the, the safer method of attack at this point. Although, you know, it might... Might take significantly longer, though. <laughs> Yeah, this... I mean, I suppose this is probably too safe in all honesty. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and uh, try this again. There we go! How do you like that? <laughs> I'll recharge my batteries before I go into the other fray. And by the way, I'm going to be doing this one in two parts because it's so long. So, yeah, expect not to be able to complete this, this part unless you're going to continue on without me. <laughs> <laughs> or a save state between parts, that'll work as well. By the way, the uh, icy floor, not really easy to get around with, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> I mean, for the combat and whatnot. Ooh, multi staffos. Um, I could bomb them up. <laughs> I suppose for maximum consistency, since I'll probably get some more bomb drops along the way. Probably, maybe, might be, had an itch. So I took my finger off the screen. Well, I should say the stylus off the screen. That's why it was so steady. Otherwise, it's usually... <laughs> Next one. Whoa, man. Oh, man, that's a lot of keys. Oh, man, that's a lot of keys. Well, uh, <laughs> I definitely want to boomerang it up. Like, create a wall of boomerang, if at all possible. <laughs> So yeah, the boomerang, pretty handy for taking care of critters that would otherwise need to be stunned or whatnot, <laughs> or whatnot first before they're vulnerable. 
or are not all that vulnerable in general. But anyway, once we take care of these bad boys, we can move on. I believe to the first boss. Well, literally the first boss, but I mean the first boss of uh, uh, this place. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Oh, wait, you're not the... Oh! Oh, yeah! This is not the boss that I was thinking of. <laughs> it's the big blends! There's three of them! <laughs> I guess I could just go around in circles. Because you guys are super slow, so... You guys are gonna walk towards me all day and all night. It's not really gonna do all that... Oh, you're hurting each other! Oh, man, you're not... You're not make. You did not plan this out well, did you? <laughs> Oh, you went right through your buddy there. Okay. So what, do you only hurt hurt each other on the backhand or something like that? No, you do still hurt on the forehand. That's interesting. Why? <laughs> Ooh, let's do this too for fun! Because <laughs> they're too slow anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> It'll take a while to defeat them all, so... Yeah, as I said, this is a... Uh, it's a pretty time-consuming final challenge of imitation Jolene's here. I guess I could be dividing and conquering a little bit more thoroughly here, you know, by doing it one at a time, but it's kind of fun now just you know, just letting them whack each other as well. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> it's like it's like, you know, you're supposed to be allies and then you're like, no, no. Just, just gonna accidentally hit my buddy you know, without a care in the world. <laughs> and yes, they still take a ton of hits, but they're still a pretty easy boss. Just as long as you get away from them before they uh, manage to whack you with their clubs. So yeah, it should, one of them should be going down soon. <laughs> it's, they've been taking a lot of damage here. From, from both themselves and me, so... <laughs> just so ridiculous. Up oh, there, there's one down. I haven't been counting the hits because otherwise I'd be, I'd be, I would be counting three of them at once, and that's that's a lot to keep track of. I'd rather just keep attacking and just eventually kill them. <laughs> I mean, what's the point of counting the hits when you're still gonna have to keep hitting them till you reach that point anyway, right? Right? Yeah. So yeah, that was it was ridiculous but easy. <laughs> Alrighty, next up, it's, oh, the Staffos Warriors. <laughs> Before they start attacking me, like, if you get within their range, they'll start, they'll start throwing their bones and start going all crazy at you. Oh, wait, maybe it's not these that throw their bones, it's the regular variety that throw their bones. This one just, these just flail their swords at you. <laughs> Bombs are so, so much more consistent for dealing with them than anything else. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, you! My favorite harmless enemy! At least when I stun you with this! Aha! Oh, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> I can stun them all around the same area. Eh, well. Take that, take that! No, 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 stop, 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 I will take care of you guys. There we go. There we go. When they're all panicky, they won't hurt you or anything like that. But it's just a thing of that you don't want them to recover, because then they'll start coming for you again, and it's like all sorts of issues if you're trying to deal with something else, so... Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, literally stop. <laughs> no, 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 bad, 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 okay. Oh, I took a hit. That's not good. That's not good at all. I need to be conserving my health for this place, for it is the pit of 100 trials. <laughs> well, not, not 100 for sure, but there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. <laughs> okay, taken care of. Bye-bye, Druins. Hello, new floor. Whew. Oh, this is, uh, they're under the sand. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. So I'm gonna just try and do jump attacks against them for maximum damage. And oh, that was close. I knew that was gonna be shot over there. And oh, I just really, really terribly resized my window there. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Should not lift my scribbler when I'm scribbling. <laughs> okay, let me up. Jump attack. There you go. Yeah, you can do the jump attacks when you tap them. 
And, uh, whoa, that was close. He used my sand one as a blocker. Yeah, you can do jump attacks when you're a fair distance away, and, oh, shoot. And if you just regular tap them. Okay, let's get up there and regular tap. Voila, see, see, yep, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. No, no, stop that. Stop that you monstrosity. Okay, one more to go. Oh, you can't, you popped out. You just had to pop out, didn't you? Uh, I hear you off somewhere. I, I don't know, I actually, actually can't hear you. Oh, shoot. I just do not want to take the, oh, I should be paying more attention to the, Oh no, it doesn't help me. I was gonna say I should be paying more attention to the top screen where I see the skulls, but no! But no! <laughs> oh, dang it, dang it, just, just one more! This room is too big for these guys! Or maybe it's just the right size for them, because it's it's showing their strengths. The strengths of being hidden! Okay, I win. <laughs> Yay! Moving on... <laughs> So far, I'm doing okay health-wise, and oh, oh, hello, oh, there. What's with the flickers? Well, it looks like it's locking me out of my items, so that means I gotta use the power of the zappies, if at all possible, <laughs> to defeat UFO Turtle. Ooh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, if you didn't know. Okay, you guys gotta get into that electrical field there. That would be that would be lovely there. I can't believe they disabled all my items. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I can believe that, but if I had arrows, you guys, you guys would be nothing to me. Oh, I hit the, I hit the zaps. Eh, eh. Come on, come on, this way, this way, this way. Hit over in that area. Oh, I got a whole bunch of them, like right off the bat. Oh shoot! 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 Ah, well, I got one. <laughs> I shouldn't have been that reckless, though. Uh, okay. Alright, over here, man. Over here. Over here! <laughs> Into the zaps of your demise! Okay, yeah, I can I can get two hits off them before they recover, I guess. No, 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 no! Unless I keep hitting their shell somehow. Okay, now we're getting to something more manageable. Because <laughs> they're always hitting off of each other, and I could not get them to aim where I wanted them to be aiming. Like this. There you go. See how you lead them around like that? Perfect. <laughs> oh, poopers. Didn't get the nice slashes off properly. Oh, dang it. What's wrong with me here? You guys are not that tough. Especially since I'm, you're down to the last... Eh, eh, eh. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. Because it should be just one more hit here. There. <laughs> and that's why I want to get the double yellow potion, because you never know if you're going to have some sort of bad issue or something like that. Well, I mean, I guess if you played it super, super careful, you'll be okay. Uh, can I just, like... No, I can't. Um, what if I, like... No, that doesn't help either. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it this way. <laughs> This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> Look at how many there are. <laughs> but I am, I am causing damage to them, so ah. <laughs> I am because it seems like no matter what you use, you're gonna be knocking them around like crazy. Unless there's something that I forgot that they're weak against here, but no, I don't, I don't think so. Because the whip will just knock them around just as much. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, go into my line of fire, please. I know you don't like that, but <laughs> oh, oh, there, oh, oh. oh, there we go. I gotta get that spin started there. <laughs> I had my stylus way off. And, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention as to where my pointer was. This would not be an issue if I was using an actual stylus. Oh shoot, that's gonna yeah. I was gonna say that's gonna hit me at that direction that's moving. See, uh, when they're moving out of control like that, they just bounce around uh, at the angle that they hit the walls at. So it's like billiards with these guys. But when they're when they're back at regular speed, they what they like to do is they they actually go directly towards you. But the trouble with this is that when you hit one, you hit all the other ones, or not maybe not all the other ones at once, but you know, they ricochet into each other, 
and then they cause a chain reaction. I was like, you know what, I'll just go, I'll just go for the hurricane spin here. I'm not really doing too well health-wise though, so well, well, I'll just play it smarter on other floors, I guess. <laughs> but I'm I'm doing fairly decent, I I was gonna say fairly decent, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm just also paying attention to the top screen as to where the poop they are. Okay, that takes care of that one, and one more, I'll just kind of head it off the pass there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was kind of disastrous. But hopefully we'll do better in the future here. Okay, this is the boss that I thought was going to be in the other room, but no! No, we got triple big blin. <laughs> Alright, so... Obviously, the key also to getting through this is mastering the bosses to the max so that you can take as little damage as possible, if not zero damage. So, I will be playing mega, mega conservative, and it also probably disabled my items again. I'm gonna have to use very specifically the whirlwind, so... Yep, look at that. Why is, why is the graph... <laughs> why are the graphics flickering? That is so weird. Alright, alright, do your thing, just bump into nothingness, there we go. Did I just touch your butt? How did I touch your butt from so far away? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. You only did minor scratch damage. And do your thing over there, good boy, I'll just do it safely this time, I guess, because I was apparently way too close. <laughs> And it appears as if our Locomosaur doesn't seem to do any more damage to the bosses, alas, alas, <laughs> so, er, well, well, <laughs> three cycles this time, there's like one, one hit on the third cycle, ah, poopers. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to keep our whirlwind out like before and blow our explosive bug <laughs> explosive bugs right back at him. We use the power of the mirror force trap card. And we wait actually. We wait for the attack so we can activate mirror force. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. And its butt should appear towards us. Attack! Okay. And it'll fly back up and repeat the cycle. Do, 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 do. I'll grab this. Why not? <laughs> I might need those. Especially if I come across another area that'll be arrow specific. And now we wait. And now we wait. I should do. But first, and it should be over. Goodbye, Stagnox. Goodbye, Blastworms. We never have to defeat you again. Well, unless we fail this challenge. <laughs> the Take Em All Challenge Level 3 can go south very quickly. <laughs> Alright, next up. We go right over to another boss! Yes! Can you believe it? It's boss rush time. Oh. And this one takes a while too. <laughs> this one probably takes one of the like of all the bosses, takes one of the longest to defeat. Well, besides like the final boss or something like that. <laughs> but you know, that's that's for other reasons besides like difficulty or something like that, or just uh yeah. You get what I'm saying here. I don't wanna spoil the final boss is what I'm saying too. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go into ice mode. We'll just go ahead and just do that. There we go. How do you like that? Probably not all that much because you're gonna destroy the torches soon enough. <laughs> Trying to shuffle yourself around, but oh no, no, I have the power of the top screen at my disposal. And then we wait for you to reform. Yeah, yeah, and it's all the waiting of this boss is why it takes so long. Um, sort of, kinda, with Skeldritch as well, because, you know, you gotta wait for the boulders and stuff like that as well. And you've also gotta, you know, for this boss, you gotta wait for its ice or fire attacks so that you can use its elemental powers against them. Like this, 
here. I just like, and now that I've defeated him a couple times, I kind of like to scribble all around him when I lock on the boomerang with the opposite element, just to make sure that I get to hit him multiple times. Just to, just to kind of eliminate the RNG, I guess you could say, of his speedy inflation of sorts. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there we go. We got the right element this time. Oh, we don't have the... Shoot. We, <laughs> we didn't have enough boomerang left, dang it. Oh, shoot, this is not going well. Okay, there we go. Two lock-ons. We'll do it. <laughs> And we're back to split form. Until... Until... We get... We knock you around a little bit more again. Come on. Come on, little frazzes. And... Wait, where'd the ice... Okay. I was gonna say... Oh, no, 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 no! Dang it! Ice! There! <laughs> Fire! There! <laughs> oh, what? Are you serious? You're gonna... You're gonna cancel it because I was just a, a smidge too slow? Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Let's focus. Zigzag for the win. Yes, that will do this time. But it's still not over because there's a lot of waiting. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Change to the ice element after this one. <laughs> I'd very much appreciate that. Ah, poopers. You know, and uh, as I said before, you could just keep going at with the same element over and over and over again if you wanted to, and I would never be able to do anything to him, but... No, he eventually changes colors to the... Yeah. Oh, shoot, I didn't lock on twice. Shoot, 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 shoot. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Somehow that works. But I still... I've still taken some scratch damage throughout the battle, and that, that all adds up through the course of the Pit of 100 Trials, so... We are gonna still have to be relatively careful to con conserve our potions. It is possible to do this entire place without taking any damage. Bosses, enemies, etc, etc, etc. But very unlikely, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Mm, triple scribble this time. Oh, 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 Yes! Yes! Take that, you gas bag! <sighs> yeah! <sighs> oh, yeah! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish level three of the Take Em All On Challenge.